In India, a person who makes these beautiful decorative pieces is actually called in slang a mukutwala. Now, these are tremendous stores right across India in a lot of places, no better than places like Vrindavan, the birthplace of Krishna. Here we have many famous temples where the deities or the statue forms of Radha and Krishna and other deities are worshipped daily and they receive two sets of wonderful evening and day wear. They're the pujaris, as they're called, or the dresses. Apply these beautiful mukits to their dresses. Through my early years going to India, I had the pleasure of assisting in the design of all these wonderful outfits, both in Delhi and Calcutta. From there, we, from here, we have our own lovely mukit walla, a recruitment maker, and my dear friend, who's been on this very long journey with me, Benita Leong. She's lived in India and she's studied this craft. She's passionate about handloom and she runs her own Facebook handloom page. She's a natural artist and unlike me, has all the talent. I've got all the ideas, but she actually has all the real talent. She loves making fabulous things, both a recycled object. Benita is also our talented tassel maker and that's been a very big consistent in our range for many years. Here we are with Talking With Ty and our lovely friend Bernita Leong. We have an old history, we do. We met on the steps of a temple and from there we have been very good friends and firm believers in handcraft. Our children went to school together. They did. And we are two families really united. And jewellery was initially Bernita's passion and she has a wonderful Instagram page, she's a very known jewellery designer called Lady Maverick. You can see below the link to Lady Maverick. Benita, what's your passion and how did it all start? How did what all start? You're creative. How did it? I've always been creative. Yeah. I remember when I was a little girl, I cut up the elastic on my pyjama pants and made a pair of bikinis for my Barbie doll. Oh my goodness. I was about six years old and I got in big trouble from my mum because I ruined my pyjamas. Oh dear. But I've never ever been short of an idea okay. and... You did have a children's clothing label. I had a children's clothing label when I first had my own children. I couldn't find the clothes that I liked. And so you had I made a them. store down in Darling Harbour. I had one of the first stores in Darling Harbour when Darling Harbour first opened. Mm. Um, and I was working in collaboration with an Australian designer named David Sheffield who's since passed and we had a label called An Originals. There you go. So it always goes on. Benita actually, another little fun fact, was Australia's first female DJ <laughs> called <laughs> Naughty, Naughty But, but Nice. nice. <laughs> Anyway, we share the same kind of inspiration. So it all started off for us. Benita's commission first piece for Bandini was? The tassel. I think what happened is, is that I was making tassel earrings. This is probably about five years ago These now. are also Lady Maverick yeah. earrings worn today. And I had a pair of earrings that were like this, but small. Yeah. And Ty said to me one day, oh my God. Now tell everybody what that is, because not a lot of people will know what that is. This is a piece of vintage um, lace from a tablecloth that I like had Nana used to have. You know those special, ones? Yeah. Special process to, and turned it into an embellishment. So Ty said, "I like that. Can you make it big for a cushion?" And so we did that, and we tried the market to see how people would receive it and people loved it. Yeah, the idea so, of upcycling, that's been a big inspiration. Tell us yeah. a little bit about right, how so you... So most of the stuff that, most of the things that I make, in fact all of the things that I make, are re from repurposed uh, base material, raw materials. So this was a, um, a shipment of tassel fabric that went awry from India when I was working there um, and I had to do something with it. One day I just made some tassel earrings. This was before anybody was make or tass making Way tassel Way before earrings. tassel earrings were the thing, I can assure you. And by you. the time everybody started wearing tassels, I was bored with it. But well, anyway. <laughs> and I used to wear the tassel earrings and everyone would say, where do you get your earrings from? And I say, I have my own commission artist, Benita Leong from Lady Maverick. <laughs> so that's how we started really our tassel range.
Okay, my fabulous parsimentarian, tell me about your leather and feather. <laughs> All right, all the leather that I use comes from old leather jackets yeah. that I've sourced from the op shops, and I just cut them all up. That was a brass ring that Ty said make me something gorgeous. <laughs> so here's the something gorgeous. Right. And of course we did it in the black colour way as well. In, we always do things in neutrals, blacks, yes. talks, a la Bundin, Bundini. We called this boudoir. We called it Bundini boudoir, didn't we? Bundini boudoir. It was, was a bit posh. saucy and a bit <laughs> racy. But anyway, it's got the leather and feather theme, as you well can see. Now this is something new. Tell me about what's this going on here, so, my um, I discovered polymer clay oh. and um, I never like to do anything the same way that anybody else has done it so this was an experiment I haven't perfected it yet um, but I basically did everything by hand instead of using the machinery that comes with mm. polymer clay yeah. and put a bit of gold on it and voila. voila voila so we're gonna have a nice big one too on our art ladies and gentlemen that that'll be interesting also, my crazy thing is that I do like a wee stone. I like well rocks. I like rocks. I collect rocks. I collect sticks. So, we've applied the leather thonging to this. To this. Now, who say they can't have rocks on cushions? I've done it before, but this is a bigger rock than I've done previously. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. It's all worth trying. Now, this is a beautiful piece. Tell us about this one. Okay, so this one came from. I had some string. Ah, string. And, uh, I was just sitting here, I think one Friday night, I came and stayed the night. And I just started manipulating the string and turned it into this kind of rose looking piece. That's cool. And, and we're going to use this gold. one on art too, so we're going to layer that one yeah. up. This guy is, is, is my, my idea. Favorites. Vanita makes them, but I did have the idea. I'm a raffia queen. As I said, I have a raffia addiction. So we've just been able to make these lovely little guys. They go on with rivets, and you can have them on any base. So just bring to life the lumbers, which we thought was grand. Another one. Um, oh, this one's epic, isn't it? Grass Look wallpaper. Grass wallpaper. Look at that. So wallpaper, mother pearl. a couple of brass rings, yep. the wallpaper disc, and... I just kind of fumbled it together yep. and... Fantastic. Really elegant, beautiful. A little bit art deco, I think. Yeah. And what's in behind you? Oh. Oh, what's behind me? Oh, well, it hasn't been Oops. attached yet. We Don't worry about that. It. This is a brass... Uh, sorry, not, it looks grass. like brass. No, it's grass. grass but it brass. looks like brass. It's grass, not brass. It's grass, it's not but not brass. brass. It's smoke. Yeah. So anyway, this is pretty much the start of what we have got for you this season. As I said, I've got something really crazy and we're going to use the bark of a tree. I absolutely adore the gum trees. When I first came to Australia, I thought they were all dying. <laughs> Poor me, I thought they were dying. Anyway, we're going to take the bark and see what we can do with it. Anyway, I'd like to thank Benita for her contribution over the years to Bandini. It is without her, we would not be as interesting and as detailed as we are. <laughs> And we do have a lot of fun doing it. And I think that's the most important thing at this time in anyone's life is to enjoy what they do. And we've got both of us very strong environmental. Um, we believe that things should be repurposed and that there shouldn't be waste. I think that's something you and I share. Absolutely. Um, so you will see more from Mother Nature from us, her discards, and Benita's beautiful application with My Crazy Ideas. <laughs>